Hey guys, it's day 17, uh, TLD day 17. Uh, make sure you got your math work for that day. Um, so let's get started. I am going to uh, cut some things out, a few today. Um, so let's do one of our, math, our word problems, all right? Go ahead. You know we're gonna use our start change result strategy. Ready? There were some students in class on Friday. 12 students went home sick. 20 students were still in class. How many students were in class at the beginning of the day? Okay, let's take it step by step. Let's read that first sentence. There were some students in class on Friday. Do we know how many we started out with? No, so put your question mark. 12 students went home sick. Okay, so what did it change by? 12. So if there's some students in class and 12 went home, am I adding or subtracting? We're subtracting, right? So put your equal sign. So here, look here, at the end of the at the end of the day, 20 students were still in class. So at the end. 20 students were still in class. How many students were in class at the beginning of the day? So let's use our two finger strategy. Put your fingers on both sides of the minus sign. Do I have a number? No, I don't. So can I subtract? No. What's the opposite of subtract? Add. So let's put these two numbers over here and add them up. I hope you got 32. 32 what? How many students were in class at the beginning of the day? 32 what? Students. So you got to write the word students. Got it? subtraction. Always start in that ones column. Make sure you have your number line if you need it. Five subtract four. Did you get one? Look at your tens column. One subtract three. If I have one, can I, can I subtract three? No, I gotta go, I gotta go trade in I have seven and I trade in one of them, how many do I have? Six. All right? That 10 moves in here, and who moves in with that 10? The one. So 11 subtract three. Do that on your number line. 11 subtract three. Into 
two equal pieces. They have to be the same size. So this is torn in half. Okay? Let's look. Thirds. Does that sound like something? Thirds. If you break something up into thirds, that means you do it in three equal pieces. So I would have to do it in three equal pieces. Let's see if I can do it. Here's one. Uh, not so good. Uh, that one's a little better. So it has to be in three equal pieces. That's about as close as I can I could get it just tearing. Three equal pieces. Okay, and then finally, fourths. If I break something up into fourths, it has to be in four equal pieces, like this. Here's two. Okay? So let's look at the directions. 
directions. Partition each rectangle into fourths, then shade the shapes as indicated. So it says three-fourths. So we have to cut it into fourths. Let me show you the easiest way to cut into fourths. We go down the middle, across the middle. And then it says to shade three of them. So if you need to stop the video and grab you a crayon, that's fine. You can use your pencil. It doesn't matter. But it's up to you. But real quickly, let's shade three pieces. One, two, and three. It doesn't matter what three you shade. Just do it quick. All right? Again, one fourth. So again, we have to cut it into fourths. Down the middle, make sure they're equal. Across the middle. How many pieces do we have to shade? One.
just kind of got to break it up into three equal pieces. Then you've got to shade two. Shade two of them.
sheet for day 18 or 17. This is 17. There it is. Yeah, day 17. Read through this with mom and dad again. Say.